three men is back. Oh, I'm getting tired. Jay, boys, get it again. Oh my God, the red got messed up. This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3. We my album comes out next week. I have to live it. Oh my God. This is your boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the True and Fun. No. <laughs> and the 2K wish list continues, but once again, going with the announcement, the best hours of Kyoto comes out August 12th, which will have the best tracks from Kyoto Hour Volume 1, 2, and 3. You're going to listen to some of them throughout this gameplay as well. But back on the topic, uh, now I'm about to cover the offensive side on my wrist list. So let's get straight into it. So, the slow preparation for the shot releases. That is something that needs to be changed to some degree. So let's say I'm open, and then I get the ball. I have to, like, set my feet, and then I have to prepare myself for the shot. Now this crap, when I'm, like, pressing X, I mean, square rep. I'm like, no, you know, that needs to change right there to some degree. The step-in shots is something that is really getting on my nerves, especially um, where the CPU does it. Like, I'll pass on the ball, they're wide open, but instead they'll take a step-in shot towards the defender or give me the defense time to, you know, catch up with them. And their shot went from being open to now being contested and they missed. So they need to get rid of the step-in shots. Speak it up, contested shots. CPU making contested shots. Now that is crazy but yeah i can't do that you know they'll make them more than i make them so yeah they need to fix that balance it out a bit and speaking of which korean players making these really impossible shots they need to fix that as well dog you know with two or three guys on this on, the, on these guys and yet they're making them you know that's make no sense right there also speaking of things that make no sense uh on korean or really anything in the game they make you do dunks that you do not have uh equipped I should not be doing a 360 dunk when I don't have it equipped. That's how it easily get blocked, especially in pro -Am. So I'm like, no, don't make me do dunks that I do not have. That is stupid. Take that out. And they need to fix the perfect releases. They, I mean, first of all, the perfect release are rare, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But when sometimes you will miss them. You cannot be missing something that is rare in a perfect release. Matter of fact, before I started recording this, my boy Endo shot a mid-range jumper, perfect release, and he missed. You know, that, that makes no sense. Perfect. When you get a perfect release, you should make them all the time, right? Because they're rare to get in the first place. And speaking of perfect releases, when you get something similar to that in the free throw line, you should be making them. You should not be missing them. Especially when, you know, it's on the line. You know, that meter is on the line. And you're a good free throw shooter. So, yeah, they need to fix both of those things as well. Step shots, they need to be taken out the game. My boys from the mob squad complains about that a lot. They need to be taken out. The pick and roll could be, well, not could be better. It should be better. I recover it defensively. Offensively, it's a joke because I would say fade. And a fade is when you step to the side at the essential pick. A roll is when you roll towards the basket. So I say fade, and yet they'll roll towards the basket. Or I'll say roll, and instead of going straight to the basket, they'll go way to the left or way to the right, where the defenders are. And guess what happens? The ball is tipped, and I get the turn up. So they need to fix the pick and rolls, man. That thing is a joke. And they need to tell the CPU what the difference is between a roll and a roll and a fade. So yeah, there you go with that. Also, offensive fouls, they need to work on that because as you just saw um, Blake Griffin set a pick, right? He didn't move his feet. He didn't do none of that. That was fine. But when you send a pick, though, you can't be moving. A, a, a good pick is when you set it and you don't move, man. Because they'll move, they'll set the pick, and then they'll move to try and block it. That's to be offensive foul. And another thing I hate about that is when you won it, and you in a collision with another guy who was won it. And, you know, I mean, that happens, but still, though. But mostly it's the movement picks. That should be called an offensive foul, man. So, yeah, there you go with that. The passes are a joke to some degree because they make you do these fancy, pa fancy passes when you don't want to. And they make you do these jackpot 500 law passes when you just when you try to pass the ball they make you go way and they go way up in the air where anybody their mama could tip it or try to catch it and speaking of passes let's say i'm at the corner of the three-point line and i want to pass to my teammate 
who is at the top of the three-point line. But instead, the ball goes near the half-court line, forcing my teammate to go to the half-court line to catch it, and we are in risk of a backcourt violation. No, they need to fix that. Uh, I mean, I, again, one fix is to, um, you know, sh you know, rotate it. Oh, I forgot what it's called. But, you know, do the train system, whatever, pass the punch to the person, whatever, instead of going from one side to the other. But it should not, you should not be passing the rock that high. Like, look at that pass. That pass is fine. More of those passes right there. But not those way up in the air. Everybody got their hands in the air. No. No. Fix the passes. And guards should not be losing the balls constantly. But yet, big man with crossover moves like Iverson or Jamal Crawford, and they don't lose the ball. That is ass backwards. They need to fix that too, man. The big man should be in risk of losing the ball when they dribble, 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 while the guards who have the more better handling should not be losing the ball constantly. They need to fix that. And in pro -Am, you should be able to pick who pick, uh, who takes the ball out. Because in certain cases, it's the shooting guard. Like, they'll force the shooting guard to take the ball out. But in, late in the quarter, like after two minutes or whatever, they'll make the call for do it. And I'm like, no, we want to pick who we want to take the ball out. Set up a play and things of that nature. They need to fix that as well. And another thing that's bugging me, but not as much, but it was at one point in time, is this. And that's when, and this is most of my career, this part right here. When the big man, aka Przingis, or Josh Smith, you know, they're trailing the play, and they're, and they're right over the problem, they're not on the three-point line. They for the fast, right past the ball, they ain't gonna shoot, until they shoot far back. Get up to the three-point line. But now, once again, they did fix that to some degree, so I can't really complain about that that much. Now, there are more things that I want to cover, but we are gonna do that next week. So tomorrow will be another pro and video, and I'm going to do the final part, which is again part three of my wish list next week on Sunday. So now as you can see, we went on the road and knocked off the Clippers, and you know, it was a pretty good game. So yeah, man, y'all know who this is. This is the new Jay Gatsby, aka the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all. See y'all next time, and I'm hoping that you are all enjoying E3 week. Once again, best hour from Kyoto, August 12th. True in front of that place to be to pick it up. See y'all next time. Yeah. shooter make him um think about the shot don't just stand there and be like oh here you go free shot wide open man this is my gift to you happy birthday no cut that shit out man they need to get rid of that shit and another thing i don't like is like yeah if there's like an offensive or a rebound or a scramble things of that nature and you're trying to on defense you're trying to uh settle back on defense 